Well, hello everyone, it's Dr. E here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. I am sure that for many of you watching right now, you are aware that Christmas is coming up, and it's a big time for, well, essentially all of us. And I'm trying to create a lot of videos before Christmas actually happens, because I don't want to need to be making videos while Christmas is occurring. I want to be able to actually spend time with my family. So as a result, it's time I get a little bit extreme. If this video can get 3,000 likes within three days of posting it, I will take a shot of Maruga Scorpion hot sauce which is, mind you, the second hottest pepper in the world, just prior to making the next video. In fact, I will take it in the intro of the next video, but we gotta get those likes, we gotta get this engagement up, we gotta do anything you can to help this video in the algorithm, because damn it, I wanna be able to take a break with my family. And I will punish myself in any which way I can to make that happen. But speaking of Christmas, I think it's time that we do a secret path where we make the Pope in charge of the entire world. Let's get to it, boyos, ready for some chaos. Ah, Italy, by blood alone. Land with a lot of problems, but with a very big focus tree now. Very sizable focus tree. And uh, still lots of war crimes down here, I would have to say. Yeah, first things first, we're gonna need to get out of Ethiopia. That's not something we want to be in. Probably want to get our technology up here running. Just all the little things that we normally have to do. And since we're gonna be doing some early fighting, let's go ahead and get support weapons. Industry, get that going. Let's see, let's get some of this built up. A couple civvies, get all that set up here. Just some stuff to get our initial business underway. And military-wise, we are going to need guns. Lots and lots of guns. We are going to need tons and tons of guns. Baked like tanks? No, these things suck. I don't want them right now. But we are going to finish off everything else in our navy that we're going to need here. But honestly, we don't really need to focus on this, because why build a navy when you can instead steal everyone else's navy? You'll see what I mean. First things first, let's get all of our troops everywhere out of Africa. We don't want them here. And we are also initially not going to choose a focus tree, because if we don't choose anything, that means we're going to be getting 2.2 political power a day. We want to wait... Because we want to fail, you know, as is the natural Italian way here. There we go, withdraw from Ethiopia. Click that, offer white peace. Ethiopia accepts Italian peace officer. What are we gonna choose between these two? Well, we're gonna go for a staggering failure because Mussolini, you, 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 you suck. You, you really suck a lot. That completes everything that we were gonna need here focus wise, skipping right past these two things that we don't need any of this. Though weirdly enough, despite a massive failure, the fact that we can still choose Colto del Duce, I don't know why this is the thing. Why? Why can we still support you, Mussolini? You utter failure of a man. No, instead, we're going to go down here. We are going to convene the Grand Council because something must be done about the man. Also, now that these are withdrawn, let's go to occupied territory and let's see what we can do here. First off, change this down to local police force so we use less resources. And then Eritrea, we're going to release. Libya, we're going to release. Somali Sultanate, we're going to release. Just whatever we can do so that we don't have to pay for all the equipment and the upkeep and everything in there. We can withdraw all of our soldiers out to actually get them uh, for where we're going to need them. Yes, a utter humiliation to Africa. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. They're so happy about what they managed to do. They can't even believe it. Look at their faces. Convene the Grand Council. All right, let's see. Next step on here. Time to depose Mussolini, which is pretty much going to hurt us everywhere on here as much as possible, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll just go ahead and get rid of him. But actually, wait, no, hold on. If we choose this one, we'll need 25% support for PNM, which that is not aligned. Do we have that? We are probably not going to have that. And this is going to slow down our political power gain and everything else in here. All right, tell you what, tell you what. Instead... We're going to do these two first because this will decrease fascism and will also give us more political power to be able to spend. So we're going to do these first. All right, there's Undermine the Duce. That one is done. And next step, Conspiracy and Shadows. Reduce fascism even more, definitely. Also, Political Advisor now available to choose. Let's see what we got. Silent Workhorse is great, but what we are going to need instead is the Staunch Monarchist. Start getting that shit going. Also, wait, I think I, I didn't turn historical AI on. Oh, crap. Uh, crap. I, I kind of, I kind of, did, did I turn that on? I don't know if I turned that on. Things might happen. I don't know what will happen now at this point. <laughs> it's okay. The world is unstable anyway. They need the Pope to guide it. Conspiracy in shadows. Perfect. PNM is increasing. We are getting this going. And so it is time to depose Mussolini. Start our slow descent towards chaos. It's going to take a while. There we go. Mussolini is deposed. Now we will not be able to choose the next part on here for the uh, the monarchist because we need 25% support for PNM, which is going to take us a little bit of time to get there. If you want to speed that up, we can do some anti-democratic raids. We can do these other things and it will decrease the support for other stuff. Like for example, banning communism. So on that note, since we have some of the support here, why not just go ahead and do it? We'll go ahead and outright ban communism and we'll simultaneously do some anti-democratic raids, reduce that more and perfect. See that raised it to 15, a little bit quicker that we'll probably be able to get this. And in the meantime, while we wait, let's see. Italian highways, and let's get some military industry going, because boy, are we going to need it. What are we at? 20, gonna take a little bit more time. So yeah, let's get some military factories. We're gonna need to build that up. All right, there goes the Spanish Civil War. Honestly, everything is looking fairly similar, except that is a little bit more broken on this side. Huh, honestly, can I get some greater support over there? No, we're at 23. We'll take a little bit more time, maybe. Ooh, I could send volunteers right off the beginning. Okay, excellent. 
So yeah, we want to get one of our guys in charge because we're going to need to start training some of these troops up. Time for some fun in Spain. I feel like I just had some there in my earlier video that I made as Spain. And there we go. Rack up some experience and do what we can. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is what we want to do. Steel industry in Terni. Fantastic. We get that done. Now we move over here. And it is time. Restore the monarchy. Excellent. Those are some fascist units wiped. Now we move in over here. And we try to do what we can and wipe out some of their units. The more we grind away, the better. It's fine. We're just doing what we can. Monarch di Italia. Perfect. Next step after this. Power to the king. Oh, wait, but that requires 50% support. Okay, so we can't do that one quite yet. No, we need more support, and we are going to want to go against fascism. So let's see. That means next step after this, we're going to do some anti-fascist raids, and then also some more anti-democratic raids. Whatever we can do to reduce this, the better, because that's just going to mean more support for uh, our little guy here. Dear Lord Emmanuel, you look like an egg who ate a lemon and then had a mustache painted on him. I love you. So I guess that means more economic work that we need to do then. And now that we've got a couple civvies, I think it is time we go ahead and start getting some military factories because we are going to need a lot of that, I'm sure. All right, do we have enough support? No, we are at 38%. Is there anything else that we can do here? Ban democratic parties. We could do that if we had the authority, but we don't right now. Hmm, that's still gonna take a good amount of time. All right, let's see, next step then, hmm? Investments in Edison. Yes, reduce the consumer good factories. That's what we want. Boost that economy. Get the hydroelectric power. We Italians know very little of electricity, apparently. Oh, a peasant uprising in Krakow. I knew that I had a historical off. I completely forgot that was a thing. Well, I don't know what's going to happen with this world then. Oh, and wait, there goes the Regional Defense Council. Wow, that was a, a lot more than I anticipated, huh? Do you know what's being sent? Oh, they're being sent back. They're being sent back. I hate that that happens. Oh, and yeah, Mexico being just as stable as one would always expect. All right, but with army primacy done, let's see, we're at 50, 50.06, maybe, maybe, can we select it? No, it's got to be slightly more, maybe wait just a little bit longer. There we go, power to the king. I don't know why it has to be like 25% or whatever above to be able to select, but it's fine. Power to the king, absolute monarchy time, let's go, baby. All glory to King Eggman from the looks of it. Oh, Thundercross Latvia, wow, we're actually getting a number of different things up here. Okay, well, that's that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Power to the king, baby. That is done. Excellent. Next step after that, seek papal support. Because yes, to deal with growing social and political instability, of which Italy is very known for, we need to reach out to the church. Let's get this going, baby. Seek papal support. Excellent. That is done. Even as Japan declares war on itself. Actually, the fact that it's 1937 July and this is not much world tension going already, I am, I am very surprised that that is happening in the world right now. Little Entente reaffirmed. Well, that's just lovely and by lovely i mean freaking terrible for what i'm gonna need to do and there you have it, my friend the pope's ascendancy with the power of the papacy now exceeding that of the italian monarchy many ardent supporters of the catholic church have come out today to demand that the pope take up leadership of the country which god damn it he does and there you have it papa pio the 11th i poppy who is a temperamental man who is very bad at improving relations well you're gonna see that come into play the pope ascends to power yes he damn well does and now that we have the Pope in charge, that means that we have a certain thing unlocked. A new secret focus tree, the Papacy Reborn. The Kingdom of Italy now will be known as the Papal State. Yes, indeed, my friend. Yes, indeed. And look at that, my friends, the Papal State, the beautiful white color. We look as though we have creamed the bottom of Europe, which we are definitely about to. Because here's the thing about the Papacy and is honestly hilarious. Deus Volt. Modify Papal State by attack plus 5%. Not on core territory, just no. Attack plus 5% and factory output plus 10%. An offensive war penalty stability modifier plus 50%. The stability penalty when you go to war is minus 30. So what this means is that when you declare war as the Papal States, you will gain stability, not lose. Plus an additional 10% recruitable population. And division recovery rate. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. But no, a time for war. Gain puppet focus goals on every country in Europe that is not majority Catholic. <laughs> and modify military industry by super heavy tank production, which is too early to even get right now. Add a production line, the hand of God? What? What is the hand of God? I have to find out what the hand of God is. I have to find out what the hand of God is. Deus Volt, there it is. Next step, a time for war, because there can only be a time for war with the Pope. Also, the fact of the matter is, it is March of 1938. It is 3% world tension. What the hell is going on? Germany, what are you doing? Are you focusing entirely on economic affairs? What is going on? 
Oh, wait, there goes uh, Austria getting absorbed. At least some, finally something happened. <laughs> that took forever. There it is, my friends. A time for war. Next thing we're going to do over here is we're going to demand the Holy Lands from the United Kingdom because this is the papacy. Naturally, of course, we should own it. W what, what else would we do? Like, seriously, what else would we do? Add a production line, the hand of God. What is the hand of God? What, 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 what is that? What can we select? I guess we can't do actually do anything until we have the technology unlocked for it. So, okay, I guess that has to hold off and we're going to need to focus all of our power then on uh, getting tanks <laughs> so that we can create the hand of God. <laughs> Nationalist victory in the Spanish Civil War. Okay, that has happened. Fantastic. That actually is going to be good for us here in the end. I'm really glad they ended up winning and not the literal communists. And there it is. The Holy Lands, the United Kingdom hands over Palestine. Excellent. Exactly what we wanted. Beautiful. We now control Jerusalem. And now we get Catholic Dominion. Replace Papal State with Catholic Dominion. Increased political power gain, 500 weekly manpower, minus consumer goods stability. Look at these bonuses. This is insane. Huh, well, I guess there's a Hispanic Alliance now. Um, would you rather join the Catholic one instead? And honestly, here's the thing. With Yugoslavia balkanizing itself, I really think that it's time to put you out of your misery. It's your last rights, if you will. It's your last rights. So why don't we go ahead and just finish things off here? <laughs> Listen, you dirty non-Catholics. This is the only way that this could happen. And our immediately her stability jumps up by a stupid amount. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That is just some lovely stuff. Oh, are you people going and trying to attack me? Hungary joins the Axis. King of Romania joins the Czech Entente. France joined Czechoslovakia. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So you joined, right? The Czech Entente. Yes, you joined the Czech Entente, which means that you are not going to be able to join the Allies. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, and the German right goes and declares war on Czechoslovakia. See, if we time it right, if we time it right, just around here in 1938, then that means France is going to join in against them, against Germany, which is going to weaken the front line. They'll have to take troops off of their front line, I'm sure, in order to weaken things. And uh, yeah, that's going to split their attention pretty heavily then, I would say. Oh, whoopsie, we're just going to go and uh, cut this enemy off here. You know, just no big deal. Just wipe out the majority of their units. Definitely get a non-aggression pact with the Germans because... Uh, Weirdly enough, in history, this is kind of almost accurate because the uh, <laughs> the papacy and the German state had a decently okay relationship. Weirdly enough, they're even inviting me to join the faction. <laughs> you know what? Yes, we will join you, Germany. That makes total sense. The papacy joins forces with the Nazis. God, there's some Helsing Ultimate Abridge references that need to be made right here. Oh, and you want to send me some stuff? Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. I really do appreciate this stuff, my friend. My friend. Hitler. Wow, that's that's not a thing that I would want to say right there. But we are at war, so let's go ahead and go down to extensive conscription because we're going to want a lot more manpower where this stuff is going to be coming from. Drava, done. Catholic Dominion, complete. Catholic Action, definitely getting done. Modifier units even more. My super crusaders, my crusaders, we are heading into the Balkans. It's the, against the Ottomans all over again, except this time it's, well, not, not, the, not the enemy they would normally anticipate. Croatia, gone. Wow, the Balkans falling like dominoes. Whoever would have expected this would happen. Yet we are just going to uh, push our way through here, and I don't think they're going to be able to stop us at this point as Australia abandons the UK. <laughs> Next up, Il Venturo Reo, because air efficiency gained plus 20%. How? How? <laughs> just giving the power of God on our side. Damn. Well, there goes Bosnia. That one's done. Czechoslovakia is gone. Excellent. That's going to weaken them even further. Oh, wow. German Reich formalizes an anti-Soviet pact. <laughs> they're actually they're actually doing it. They're not trying to get an alliance with the Soviets. How interesting. How interesting. And there goes Yugoslavia. Excellent. They're gone. That's going to wipe out the majority of their units, which means that all these are left. We're going to be able to wipe these guys out. Kosovo collapsed. It never existed in the first place. We're just going to go ahead and say that. Research time, because everyone knows that the Catholic Church has always been a fan of knowledge and not questioning things ever. I mean, totally questioning things. Yes, that thing, that thing. The death of the... No! The moment I try to get knowledge, they stage a coup or something. No, oh, now it's Papa Pio XII. Wow, he, we really like... We really like Papas, I guess. Political power, division organization, cavalry attack plus 10%, because he's the Grand Master of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulcher. So wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I'm over here and I got the cavalry expert and then I also got that, that means I would have a plus 20% to my cavalry? Oh dear Lord, it's actually pretty strong. China has joined the allies. Wait, why is China joining the allies? We have overwhelming numbers. Let's just see if we can kind of get on through here and go after their uh, capital. Snake through and weaken the front lines even more. Get that done. 
Soviet Union declares war on the Imperial Kwantung. Oh God, they are they are actually going pretty aggressive over here. Japan is about to have a bad time. The Polish have joined the Allies. Polish, why 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 did the Polish join the Allies? Why 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 did the Polish join the Allies? Why would they do that? Polish sanitation government joined the Axis. No, no, don't call me into this war. I don't want to join that war. Romania is gone. Excellent. Wait, the Soviet Union. Are we at war with the Soviet Union? Why is the Soviet Union also at war with the German states? No, no, please, for the love of God, no. That's a very thick Hungary, but I am not joining in on that fight. No, siree. No, I am not. No, siree, Bob. Supersetio, done. Army leaders, done. Get this, get all this going. Wipe out all their units here. Quick, let's just go ahead and go down here and see if we can finish off the French because this is kind of getting ridiculous. Also, we have overwhelming superiority. Let's just go, buddy. Let's just go. Let's take out the French. Let's do what we can. You know, we went from an extremely peaceful world to an extremely chaotic one very quickly. But, you know, at least this is going to finish over here, I think. Very aggressive. Very aggressive. Let's just push. Let's go. They have no hope of controlling us now. And you know what? Bicycle infantry. Papal forces on bicycles. Why not? The Catholic Church and propaganda. Who would have ever expected it? Not me. Definitely not me. Am I still good on equipment? I am still very good. Well, okay, not good on everything, but we are still doing really well on everything else. Oh, and there goes France. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We have captured a decent amount of this. And there you have it, everyone. The uh, the peace deal of a century. That fixes all that. We, we don't have to worry about any of this stuff anymore. Romania is officially out of the war. Papal States is out of the war. And we don't have to do anything to support the Germans. Because, you know, we're not in that conflict. That doesn't matter. Oh, what? The Swiss Confederation joins the Allies. Germany. Germany, are you being a little aggressive over here? Are you attacking the Swiss, which is going to probably severely weaken your front line even more? The United States joins Free France. Wait, what is, what is Free France in? Is Free France a thing? Free France is the thing. Why? What? 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 Why? What? The United States, Free France, and the Philippines are all part of the same faction, the, Ch the Czech Entente, which is doesn't exist why would free france not get fully absorbed why is this a thing why would you do this oh germany i'm not joining your call to arms i'm not joining it you can have all the fun over here fighting in poland that you want it's perfectly fine you enjoy yourself i'm totally not going to do anything to attack you in the back at all but with Italian tank heads done, that means it's time for self-propelled guns. Self-propelled guns, which is going to lead us down to modernizing our factory and give us even more armor bonuses. Is is Switzerland making gains? Or no, is that... Are the Germans making... I can't tell which is happening with which. It's it's a little bit confusing over here. Oh, wow. King of Livonia declares war on... The thing that is not probably good, the SSR. Because they're joining the Axis in the commenter. Oh, no. This isn't totally drawing all attention away from the fight here at all. Well, Holy Poppy, I think it's time for you to show the Germans who the daddy is. Fuhrer, meet father. Father, Fuhrer. But I call you Poppy. Ah, uh, you know, Germany, it would be a real shame if I suddenly just left the faction as you were preparing to have a war with Greece and then suddenly decided to declare war and called all my allies in. You know, while you have no units over here whatsoever. Ah, uh, top 10 anime betrayals, really. Yeah, I will take take some uh, lend leases here. That's perfectly fine. Because there goes Hungary collapsing, which is going to completely weaken the front line over here because they're not going to have any troops. Wait, what is this? Who's owning this? The Soviet Union? Oh no, 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 no. We we don't we don't care about that. Come on, buddies. Come on. Invite to faction. Sure, we will now join the Allies. That seems like a completely reasonable thing to do. You know, totally. We're totally going to join the Allies. Yes, and not betray you at all. <laughs> Oh, this is such a weird thing. It's such a weird thing. The entire line is just collapsing. I wonder where all of the German units are. Oh, wow. Denmark is now invading from the north as the entire German Reich collapses in on itself. Oh, that is that is simply lovely. A lend -lease request? Yes. Send me all of your planes. I'm totally not going to use them to betray you next. Absolutely not. Wow. Wow, Germany. Um, How does it feel to be outdaddied? now it is time to modernize our unit is are we gonna do this no fiat improved medium tank chassis Wait, which one does which what, what is which factory output armor research speed yeah we're gonna go with this one we want our stuff even faster there baby this is so sad this is so sad alexa play despacito instant instant collapse instant terrible terrible collapse wow all of berlin there it goes they've capitulated the soviet union is that wait is there still a major power in the Axis? Who's the major power in the Axis? Sanitationist Poland. 
Really? Well, I don't really consider you a major, but I mean, if you want to just go ahead and uh, die for me really quick, I would greatly appreciate that, considering everything that we managed to do over here on this side. Secured myself a good 24% war contribution, you know, despite the fact that I didn't really do much. Fiat is done, which means it is time for our big heavy tanky boys. And there you have it, the end of World War II in like 1940. The world is saved once again by religion. Absolutely. And there we go, once again, peace in our time, where Czechoslovakia now joins the United Kingdom. That's simply lovely. But then I have to wonder, I have to wonder, how many people are actually in the Allies? How many people? Like, you got the British occupation zone and everything in here, so all, all, all of this is done. But I don't think anyone else is necessarily in the Allies, are they? No, Poland is. Poland is definitely a thing. Okay. So, you know, I guess the big question is what to do next. Well, in our focus tree, once we complete this idea here, we got a little thing over here that may potentially uh, aid us. We can demand that the Iberians go and submit to us. So why not? You know, why not? Why not just see what happens? Call to arms. Yeah, no, no, no. We're, we're not accepting your call to arms, allies. I might just end up betraying you because the Finland or like the Finnish have just denied the Soviets access, which means that the Soviet Union may end up going to war with you, which is honestly going to be hilarious uh, if I turn around and then and betray you. Oh, uh, you not a kingdom kicking me from the faction. Really? Really? Why would you kick me from the faction? I did absolutely nothing wrong. Come on. Because Guatemala has joined Free France, because Free France still exists down here. Why Mexican Junta? Why would you do this? Oh, yep, they declared war on El Salvador. They're just, they just keep on going, you know? They're just, they're just letting it happen. Just letting it roll on out of there. Yeah, there goes the Soviets declaring on Finland. Is Finland going to join anyone? Please let them join the Allies or something. Come on, come on. Let it happen. Yes, Finland joins the Allies! Which means that once again, the Allies are at war. This train ain't stopping, baby. And the Soviet Union is now going to go in here and is going to eat the entire Polish People's Republic, knock them out of the war. And uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's going to lead to some fun for us, I think. Because, baby, we got armor. We got armor. And is there anything else we could do down here? No, no, no. I forgot. I forgot. We got to go over here. Iberian protection. Quick. Ignore the allies. Come to Poppy. The fall of Warsaw. No, not again. Wow. The Soviet Union is taking a lot of territory. Sure is a shame. Too bad there's no one to stop him. You know, if only you hadn't kicked the Pope who had done totally nothing wrong out of the Allies. Because let's see, there's the improved medium tank. So we got that going. And uh, yeah, let's just let's just get some better equipment, get some better everything here while we wait for the world to burn around us as the Soviets just completely clean up over here. Uh, the Polish People's Republic, Czechoslovakia, puppeted or capitulated. Now, what are the Iberians going to do? Are they going to accept or are they going to reject? Portugal accepts. Spain accepts. Oh, wonderful. Welcome to the fold as puppets, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We now are the owner of the Catholic Dominion. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to your rightful owner. And you know what? Papal decree. We've been at peace too long. I think it's time that we go ahead and end that. Yeah. Did I optimize the way that I would be declaring these wars? No, but hey, it's fun. Because yeah, yeah. Now, now we're also at war with the allies. You shouldn't have kicked me out here. Yep, and you know, there's there's Bulgaria knocked out of the war. Lovely, lovely stuff. In the meantime, yeah, we just like, uh, yeah, wait a couple, you know, 35 days here. Let ourselves get prepared. Launch naval invasion. UK, throw ourselves into the Swiss mountains, which is actually pretty bad over here from what I can see. Huh. Uh, maybe I should stop this. I'm throwing away my men's lives. Fear not, citizens of London. We are here to save you. Oh, yay. It's the Catholic Church from yourselves. Oh, yay. It's the Catholic Church. Uruguay accepts our offer. Uruguay, yes, everyone is joining. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the Grand Alliance. All of South America, everyone is welcome into my great state. We are the great Catholic Dominion. Everyone is welcome. Quick, we got a snake. Knock out these powers as quick as we can. Fall of London. Come on, London Bridge is burning down, burning down. We even sang the song and everything. Let's go. Dear God, this whole thing is just a reference to Helsing Ultimate Abridged. India declares war on free India. Yes, yes, divide India. Make it weaker. Yes. Jibe Sama joins the allies. Everyone's joining the allies except for the people that matter. Let us go, my brothers. Go fight. Oh, oh, are they are they genuinely driving back the Soviets? Oh, oh, Lord. I, uh, I didn't exactly anticipate that happening here. Push, push, my brothers. Go fight into the UK. Knock them out. And there goes the British. Excellent. Wonderful. We... Wait, it's not over? No, who's the other major power? Please, for the love of God. The German Republic. Where is the German Republic? Is that you? You're the German. You're still a major somehow. Really? 
Well, let's just, let's go. Let's go then, buddy. We're going to knock you out one way or another. And China. China, China is now a major power. Are you shitting me? Come on. All right, well, we're going to, we're going to need to figure this out then. All right. Um, can I get military access through you, Soviets? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I, I greatly appreciate that. Oh, and finally, that whole mess here is cleaned up. Okay, that, that took, that took way too long. Uh, now to deal with the issue that we have here. So I guess we just go over here to Shanxi and then just try to push and do what we can here. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually be able to push the armies out and win before we eventually run out of supply. Maybe. Oh, wow. We are actually doing something, huh? Manchurian. Wait, what is this map? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? You all are really messing up my map and I don't appreciate that. Soviet, why? Wait, why is the Soviet suddenly getting, what is this? What are you doing? Well, um, at least we're just kind of sweeping through China now. That's, that, that's a thing then. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, at least there's that. And now we're going to need to go down to service by requirement because everyone's got to serve in the army. This is a holy crusade in China. Wait, what the fuck? What the hell, Shibi Sanma? Are you kidding me? Because China fell. No, no. So that means instead of just letting China fall, we have to fight in the mountains now. Are you kidding me? So now we have to fight everywhere. And what is with these spots? Honestly, it's fine. Just, just, just move on through. Take out as many of the troops as you can. This is completely and utterly cursed, but, but it, it's okay. It's okay. I, 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 I completely understand it. I don't understand it. I don't want to understand it. I hate it. But there we go. There goes China. There goes China and the UK. Perfect. Wonderful. 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 Quick, take all the mountain provinces we can. And there you go, everyone. There's the world. Everyone is embargoing us. It's done and looks absolutely horrendous. Okay. Well, that's um, that's the state of the world. And that is what happens when you play as the Pope who goes on a warpath. Honestly, it sucks. We didn't even manage to complete the final thing to create the actual hand of God. In fact, you know, in fact, you know what? It's 68 more days. I want to see what this thing looks like in the first place. I have to see. We did this entire thing. We really need to see what the hand of God actually looks like in the first place. Come on. Oh, and lo and behold, we got declared on anyway. That's, that's lovely. That's, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have, I should have anticipated something like that happening. But we got the hand of God. So I wonder what that looks like here. What can we create? The super heavy tank chassis. Do, do we have a, do we have a variant? Do we, where, where, where is it? Oh, whoa, there it is. No, 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 no. The hand of God. Okay, I found it. I found it. So what, what is this? What does this look like? What, what is it? What does it do? Damn. Okay, no, never mind. That is that is not a tank. That is a super heavy artillery. What is? What does that even have? Soft attack of 45, max speed 4.2. <laughs> okay, that is only something that we would have been able to attach to infantry anyway with 120 armor. Yeah, I'm very curious to see what it would look like if we actually attacked, uh, attached it to any units of infantry. In fact, let's go ahead and create this, a duplicate of it, the copy. Uh, Papal Forces? I don't know, our death squad. We'll just give it that. Now, Armed Battalion, Super Heavy SP Artillery. What does that do? That one tank would increase the attack by like 60. It's going to increase the armor by 56 because <laughs> it's just that heavy. Holy crap. Well, I guess that is happening. And uh, yeah, so is, um, so is this. But honestly, there's no point in me doing anything anymore. It's 1941. We're building that super heavy tank just to see it utterly cream units. Um, yeah, a historical kind of messed me up on that whole little timeline here for what it is that I would have wanted to do. But everyone, this has been Sakui playing the Pope, bringing peace and love to everyone. Remember what I said, 3,000 likes in three days. And uh, we're starting off the next video with a shot of the second hottest uh, pepper hot sauce in the world. Yeah, fun times. I will see you all then. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day and goodbye, guys.